Hi, we are continuing our uh, lecture on uh, sequential elements, and today, uh, or, or on this part, uh, part two, we are going to focus on latches. And uh, the, the, the first latch that we are, uh, that we will uh, discuss here is the active high SR latch. And this latch, um, let's uh, draw draw the, the the black diagram of uh, this latch. <coughs> so we have here NOR gate and another NOR gate, and then the outputs are cross coupled for those NOR gates, like so. And we have here the R input, which is, stands for reset, and the S input, which stands for set. Um, here is the output of <laughs> the, the latch Q, and this is Q prime. And let's try to explore the operation of this latch. And the best thing is to have a nice little uh, table here, uh, more of a truth table. So here is my R, hmm, S, and Q, and Q prime. Okay. We will explore several several cases. Okay, and let's uh, divide this uh, like so, and this one, and this one, and let's use a color of brown, for example, and let's consider the initial state as zero, zero, okay, and really we don't know the Current states and and this is because <coughs> if we have here a zero and if we have here a zero, then the output really is dependent of this one on Q prime, and the output here uh, of this uh, so here the output will be dependent on the Q prime and the output of the Q prime will be dependent on Q and with no prior history. I cannot determine what's the output. So, in this case, the, the 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 Q and the Q prime is is they, we, 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 they are unknown. So, let's uh, assume, for instance, that we set R to zero, okay, and and S to one. So, here is zero, and this one here is one. In this case, um, because we know that NOR gate any input uh, one makes the output zero, and you have here a zero sitting with a zero, so the output here is one. So now we can see that the output of the latch Q is now one, and Q prime is zero. And this is we call this operation set setting the output why because the q the q is set to 1 okay so let's go back after we complete this operation let's go back to 0 0 okay so now we go back to 0 0 meaning i'm going to change this again and make it 0 now notice that the q here is 1 and 1 and a 0 the output is 0 and the Q prime is a zero, and the 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 R is zero, so zero zero. The Q output is one. So the 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 uh, the, the latch will stay at its output one zero. So this is really the combination zero zero. It says keep the previous values of Qs as is. Do not change. Okay, so here we will say that this is no change. 
no change from previous value. Okay. Now let's try a different combination for the input. Let's say, for instance, we set uh, the input to uh, the R to one and the S to zero. Okay. So let's uh, set the R to one and the S to zero. And in this case, uh, when you have um, when you have uh, uh, a one on the R and a zero on the Q, so this output becomes right here zero, okay. And then and then this is a zero here, okay, with with the with the with the S of a zero, okay. So the S here, let's uh, clean this up a little bit. Uh, S is zero, zero zero. The output becomes here as one. So the Q is zero and the Q prime is one. And because we have set the Q to a zero, we, saw, we say that this operation is a, a reset for the latch. Okay? A reset for the latch. Now, let's go back to our um, uh, uh, zero, zero operation. So the, the, the R now becomes a zero. Okay? So notice that here, we have um, there's there is a one coming from here. Okay, so let's keep this one here. So zero and a one. The Q stays as zero, and the Q zero, and the 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 uh, the the S is is zero as well. So the output is one. So we're gonna keep. Notice here one zero output is zero. And zero zero output is one, so we're going to stay as zero one, and this is what we say: no change operation or no change to the value. Now, suppose somebody comes and said, "Well, let's try, for example, uh, to set uh, uh, a value of uh, uh, let's see um, of one and one." Well, if we set the R to 1 and the S to 1, this is now both Q will be equal to 0 and Q prime will be equal to 0. So this is, uh, oh, sorry, uh, if we set those to 1 and 1, yeah, the, the both will be uh, 0, 0. And this is, um, we will to this as illegal or invalid operation. Why? Because notice that we are forcing both the Q and Q prime. Q prime, Q prime should be always the inversion of Q. And and this is so we said no, don't do that. That's that's illegal. Okay. This this input combination here is illegal. So how about after that, if we set it to zero zero, and um, well, we don't know because we forced the the, the the latch into invalid operation, and we set it to to zero zero, then we say, well, we don't know. We expect the, this to be unstable. And, and, and this is illustrate uh, the uh, one of the main problem of the S S R uh, latches is that it has invalid input combination and unstability after this invalid operation when we try to do a no change operation. Okay, so in summary, we have seen that the operations can be uh, uh, classified as set, reset, no change, and uh, we have those that are don't do them, that are invalid. And, and, and that seems to be our problem right here, okay? So what we just explained here is that we have we explained the active high SR, and in the sense that those uh, those uh, input R and S they are they are active when they have a value of a one. Well, you guessed it. We have active low as well. Uh, are when the inputs are active when they have a zero value and let's take a look at those <laughs> but before going there let me just complete this and say that this circuit here 
it, we, we, we represent it with the symbol, which is the SR flag, where you have here the S, and here is the R, and here you have a Q, and here, look, look at that bubble, Q prime. Okay, so this is this is the symbol for uh, active high SR flash. Okay, uh, <clears throat> no clock here, by the way. Okay, all right. Now, so let's go and discuss the um, active. <laughs> Active low, active low S S R latch. The active low S R latch is very similar to the active high, but with the following differences. First of all, instead of using NOR gates, we will use. Whoops, man. Nah. Don't like that. NAND gate. Okay. This is set and reset. Okay, we can complete drawing the circuit and and we talk about the differences so the very first the very first difference between active high and active low is that in the active high we use nor gates and here we use nand gates okay the other difference is that in the in the active high the the the, the, the q the nearest input to it is the reset in this case the re, the, the nearest input is the nearest input is the set. Okay, so now let's take a look at the truth table and explain the operation of this latch. Okay. Suppose we start with um, a one-one operation, and in this case, we wouldn't know really the Q and the Q prime because it depends on the previous history of the latch. Now, suppose now we uh, set the um, okay um, just just to be. Uh, doesn't really matter. Okay, suppose now we set the S to zero and um, and the R to one. Okay, so let's go to here. Oh, I like to, to change these to red color here. So, okay, so S zero, R one, S zero means that the output Q should be one. So output one comes in here, one and one, so the Q prime is zero. So now you can, <laughs> you can see that Q is one and Q prime is zero. Uh huh. Anytime I set the output of the latch to O1, we say that this is a set operation. Notice how the this this set input is active low. Whenever it's zero, it forces the output to be a one, the output Q. Now let's go back to one one. Okay. So what we did what really was so here is here's the output zero. We changed the um, the input to one one. So the S now becomes one. Okay. So one on the S Q prime zero. So the 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 Q stays at one. And R is one and Q is one. So Q is zero. So we'll keep. This as one zero, and we say no change. Okay. Remember the active high 
yes or not, the no change was zero, zero. In the active law, the no change pattern is one, one. Okay? Okay, now, so let's uh, now try to uh, uh, entertain another uh, um, possibility where we have the S as one, the R as zero. Okay, so now the S is one and the R will be here as zero. So that will force the Q prime to be what? To be a one here. And now a one here. Okay, and an S of a one, this forces the Q to be a zero. So now the output of the Q is a zero and the Q prime is a one. We say that this is a reset operation. And notice that the, because the R is activated here, the output is reset to a zero. Okay, so the activeness of R and S is based on the value of a zero. Now, let's put back the, the SR latch to 1, 1. Okay, so 1, 1. Mm -hmm. Now, so uh, uh, the R here is 1. Okay, so 1 and 1. So obviously this is a 0 here from the previous operation. And this is a 1. So 1 and 0. <coughs> So uh, the R is 1 and the Q is 0. So this is 0 here. And the output should be a 1. And the S is 1. And the Q prime 1, the output here should be a 0, which means the output of the latch is no change. Okay? Now, let's just assume that we set the, excuse me, the output... <coughs> of the latch to, for instance, zero, zero. So this, uh, the, uh, we set the inputs, I'm sorry, the inputs S to be now zero and, 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 and R set to be a zero. Now that will force the Q to be one and the Q prime to be one. So here is one, one. But this is this violates the definition in Q and Q prime. The Q prime should be always inversion of Q. So we say that this is illegal combination or invalid. Okay. And if we try to do a no change operation, we don't know what happens here and say, well, this is unstable. Because after illegal or invalid <laughs> inputs, the, the, the circuit becomes unstable if you try to, to go to a no change. You have to do set or reset to, to work things out properly. So with this type of latch, again, much like we have done, uh, uh, we, uh, the, 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 this, this latch has the following symbol. So you have um, the set and reset. And since it's active low, we'll, we'll add the bubbles here. And here is the Q. And here is the Q prime, okay? And we, again, I'm gonna iterate, the main problem of this latch is the following. This is the problem right here. This latch, uh, 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 active low and active high SR latch have the problem of invalid input combination uh, which can put the, the circuit into uh, unstable or unpredictable um, uh, uh, operation uh, and, and, and this illegal value is problematic. And so we'll try to remedy this in the uh, next uh, latches, okay? All right, so let's uh, move on to another type here where we say, <coughs> and in this case, what we want to do here we want to have a clocked SR latch. Uh, 
And the clocked SR latch, basically, it's, it's a latch. Uh, notice that from now on, we'll, we'll, we'll use these um, symbol, uh, 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 diagram, uh, symbol uh, uh, diagrams more and more. So this is our SR inputs, and here is our Q, and here is our Q prime. And we will add a clock here. Okay, so what does the clock do? Well, the clock, basically, it will say that I am going to impact the operation of the queue using these inputs only when clock equals one. Okay, so let's look at the truth table now and see how this translated. Okay. See if we, uh, oops. Uh, Okay, all right, so let's see. Here is a clock, here is the S, here's the R, okay, and here's the Q. And now, <laughs> we're going to refer, just uh, take this one out. We're going to refer, going to use now something called QT plus one. Ah, what is QT plus one? QT plus one is the next value of present Q. In fact, present Q we would like to refer to it as QT. So QT plus one is the next value and the present value is QT, the output present value and the output next value. Okay, so if we have a clock disabled, right? So no matter what you do with your SR, okay, there will be no change. The Q will be as it was set before. When the clock is one and s r are zeros then there is no change which means q t plus one will be equal to the previous q t in fact here no change it means equals q t as well here okay what happened if we have a clock and we have the um, uh, reset activated then the, the next q will be a zero because of the reset here and if we have a clock and set is activated uh, and the, the, the Q will be one and um, if we have a clock and we have one and one here okay so we, we, we this is this is this is uh, not valid or indeterminate okay and you can uh, you can you can see that we are talking about by the way active uh, active high here uh, okay we remember see we don't have we don't have those bubbles here so that makes it active high okay so what we have added here to the sr latch is the clock the synchronization mechanism when there is when the clock is not active the output is not changing when the clock is active then now we 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 do the operation okay all right so <clears throat> What we're going to do here is that we are going to look at another type of latch, which is the D flip flop. And I'm sorry, the D latch. Sorry, the D latch. The D latch. And the D latch really is um, people. People wanted to 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 um, avoid. Avoid the illegal combination. So one suggestion was really okay. So let's start with with our active low D latch. So here is my D latch. Um, uh, SR latch. Sorry. Here is my active low. Okay. So this is Q. This is here the cross coupled input. <clears throat> This is here our 
our S and our R here. Okay. And then, and then, um, then someone comes in and says, okay, I'm going to add the following thing. I will, um, I will make sure that this input connected here to a D input called D and I will invert this input and goes to the S. And now what I have done, I created a D latch. And the nice thing about this thing is that I will never end up with the illegal combination of zero zero, which put this latch in because it's it's if this if this is one, this will be a zero. If this is a zero, this will be a one because we are inverting this. This type of latch is referred to as D latch. Okay, so here. So this is Q prime. <clears throat> okay, so on the truth table for this thing, we 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 start with uh, let's see if uh, if uh, <coughs> have a Q and have D, and then we have next Q T plus one. Okay, um, so let's uh, pick a color here. Okay, so if this is zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Now, if if Q is zero, so this is zero here. Okay, um, and D is zero. Okay, so uh, that puts. Uh, uh, Q prime to be a one and <coughs> so let's uh, so this is Q equals here a zero <coughs> and Q prime will be uh, okay so so notice that I am using this value here of Q of zero and this is one okay then D is set to zero. What happened when I set D to zero? So this is zero, okay? And zero, zero keeps this, um, uh, uh, keeps this at a one and keeps Q at a zero because this will stay a one. I'll have the one here and the, the, the zero is inverted, a one here, one and one, output zero. That's why I'll have an output of a zero. Okay, now, <coughs> what happened if what happened if um, let's see, so take another color here of um, um, green, for instance, if I have a zero, whoops. A zero and a one so the Q is zero and the Q prime is a one and I said D to a one so this is one and this is a zero so you can see <clears throat> okay so you can see that this zero here will force the output Okay, to be um, a uh, let's see, uh, D is a one. Okay, uh, so this is um, zero, and this zero will uh, force this to change to a one. Then this one comes in here, trickles down all the way here, one and one, and the output becomes right here, zero. And therefore, what we have is that this Q now is uh, one, which is a set operation. Okay, so this is set. Okay. Um, and 
what happened if uh, the Q is initially is zero uh, is one okay so we have to change all of this again okay so now Q initially is a one so I'm, I'm looking at this input combination let's change color here okay so uh, let's see probably brown Okay, so one, oh, one, and zero. So the Q is one, and the Q prime is zero. And the D is zero. So D is here zero, and the D prime is one. Okay, so now what we have here is that um, one and uh, one and zero changes to this one changes one and zero this change this to keeps it actually to one so since it's one and zero and this is one and zero so one and zero keeps the output as is and doesn't change okay um, and the um, uh, the uh, hold on a second uh, actually the output is the Q is one. Okay, so we okay, so the R here is at zero. So this is activating the reset for the for the uh, for the Q. So this becomes now a zero. Okay, and this becomes a one. Okay, and this is the reset operation. And the one one will cause no change similar to the zero zero. Okay, so no change. So we'll stay at, at one. So both of these two operations we refer to them as no change. Okay. The block uh, the symbol uh, for the block for the D is drawn as um, D input Q Q prime okay and don't forget the bubble for the for for the Q prime we can always add um, a a clock to this uh, to this uh, so we can have um, a clock input And then the operation is explained as such here. So when clock it is D, when clock is zero, no matter what D does, then the Q T plus one, which is the next state, um, will will be always <laughs> no change. So it will be previous state or present state. When the clock is on and D is zero, then Q T plus one is zero. When the clock is is on and D is one, the Q T plus one is one. So here we can say that uh, okay, Q T plus one equals D whenever clock is activated. We will refer to this again as this is as um, the reset. And this is as the set operation. Uh, so pretty much uh, this is what we want to cover in terms of uh, latches. And um, we will continue with the third part for the flip-flops. Thank you.